to the Handbook of Nature City and Comstock wrote that at the beginning of the 1900s for Cornell. And it was to teach teachers how to do nature study in their classrooms. So if you would have gone to school to become a teacher in the early 1900s, one of the subjects that you would have learned was natural history and how to teach it. So in that book, she has information about pretty much every natural topic known to man. And then she has the questions in there that a teacher would use to kind of prompt the child through an object lesson on I think, frogs or something like that. But she would have the real object, obviously, in the classroom. So when your child's reading that at home, they probably aren't going to have all those things readily available to them. So those questions aren't something that they're going to answer. They don't even have necessarily have to read through the questions. It's more reading through the informational part. If And I have that scheduled out through all of the cycles. So if your child went through all the cycles through middle school and high school and they read the entire book of ham, the Handbook of Nature Study, they would have a lot of natural history knowledge. Again, that doesn't replace getting out there and observing things for yourself, but it's just a wealth of information. I've learned so much from it. So, you know, the pages that are assigned, you're not, they're not necessarily reading through the lesson on how to like teach a classroom about seeds or something like that, but they could read the informational part about all those different topics. And it might inspire them to go, you know, research some of that on their own, which would be fantastic. So use it as a tool that would fit well with what you have around your house to study as well. Mm -hmm.